hi everyone in this tutorial we will talk about uh, two important widgets of streamlit uh, one is known as sidebar okay and i hope that you are familiar with sidebars okay and the other thing that we will discuss is the charts okay so how to display different types of charts in streamlit so let's start the tutorial and first of all uh, let me remove these lines okay and i hope that now you know very well about all of these lines okay so let's remove them and now here first of all let's save it and uh, I, I will just show you a demonstration of how sidebar looks like in streamlit okay so let's create a simple sidebar st.sid side bar sidebar okay and inside this sidebar i want to add uh, uh, a widget like uh, for example let's add a simple um, writ right widget okay and uh, i will say hello this is my sidebar okay hello this is my sidebar okay let's save it okay and uh, let's run s-t-r-e-a-m-l-i-t r-u-n run m-a-i-n man dot p-y okay so here you just need to understand the logic that now we are defining first our sidebar okay and then we are defining our widget okay so st dot sidebar dot right okay so this will uh, create our right widget inside the sidebar okay so let's run it and see our output sorry not here uh, here okay let's run it okay so th this is our sidebar okay and uh, now uh, let's uh, add let's talk about uh, uh, charts as well okay so uh, streamlit basically provide us uh, uh, different ways to embed charts like uh, uh, if you know about matplotlib you can insert matplotlib charts in the streamlit if you know about uh, plotly uh, you can insert uh, plotly charts as well but uh, i know and uh, i hope that uh, all of you know about uh, matplotlib so we will go with metal matplotlib charts and we will see how to embed matplotlib charts in streamlit okay so now let's create a simple matplotlib chart here okay and for that purpose you need to have a matplotlib library and you if you have uh, then well and good but if you doesn't have just go to terminal write pip install matplotlib and this will install matplotlib and after installation you just need to import matplotlib so right here from from matplotlib uh, i m p r t import uh, p y pi plot as plt plt okay so i am importing my ply, uh, pi plot class as plt okay and now with the help of this plt we will draw our plots okay so let's write here uh, let's draw a simple plot first okay so but before i actually draw a plot i need to uh, make a figure for that plot first okay and creation of figure in matplotlib is a very simple process just right here fig is equals to plt dot f i g r figure okay figure and and then close it okay so this line will basically uh, create a figure for us okay and now let's create a plot on that figure okay so just write here plt dot plot okay and then inside this plot we need to pass our x-axis values and y-axis values okay and uh, let's create these values here for now uh, i will use numpy okay so right here import numpy as np okay so it's cool and now our x will be like x is equals to uh, np dot line space okay and then i will go from 0 to 10 okay and uh, with the 100 values okay so in, now inside this x we will have 100 values and all of these values will be between uh, 0 and 10 okay and this is what this line space function does and i hope that you know very well about numpy and if you don't know numpy you, you can just simply assign any kind of list to this x value okay so these are just values okay so it doesn't matter okay so now inside this plot let's pass our x here okay and now uh, on my y axis i will draw the uh, sign value of this x okay so just right here np dot sin sign okay and just pass your x here okay let's save it and now uh, i need to draw this figure 
on the streamlit application okay so just right here uh, sd.writ right okay so now a uh, streamlit provides us two different ways for doing this kind of stuff one is to use the switch knife and that is right okay and other function which you can use for this purpose is the pi plot function of streamlit okay so just right here a uh, right okay and now you need to pass your figure and that is fig okay and let's save it and let's rerun it and see what we will get okay so we got over this output and, and yeah it's looking cool okay so i hope that uh, you have understood how this thing looks like so let me increase the size okay now uh, in this tutorial we will combine these two things and i am thinking that uh, uh, on the sidebar uh, i will use radio buttons okay which will represent different types of graph okay like uh, we will embed line charts okay and then we will embed uh, bar charts and then horizontal bar charts okay so i will have radio buttons on my the sidebar okay and i will have graphs for each radio button on my main streamlit application okay so i hope that uh, there will be a lot of fun in making this application so let's start its development and uh, for now just uh, remove this stuff okay so instead of using the sidebar dot right uh, i will use here radio button okay so i will write here r a d i o radio okay and now i will say s e l e c t select any g r a p h graph okay and then inside the options property i will pass a tuple of my different uh, charts okay so i've first of all i will have a line chart okay uh, l i n e line chart okay and uh, then i will have maybe a bar chart okay and then i will have a horizontal bar chart okay so these will be the options and i will save the options inside uh, these uh, options variable okay so opt is equals to okay so this option variable will hold my information of the side radio button and uh, first of all uh, i will check that uh, if my opt double equals to line okay so then i will draw a line chart okay so tab here then here we will have a tab okay just uh, indent them each and everything and now inside this uh, i let's make this graph more beautiful okay so uh, i think now it's looking so bored okay so let's change the styling okay so i will write here plt dot style dot us use okay so there are a bunch of uh, styles which this uh, matplotlib library provide us but uh, i will go with uh, this style okay so this is a github link okay so uh, it's a very cool style and i think it will be better to use this style okay so just copy it and i will give a link down below as well don't worry about this and just paste this link here okay and now i think that uh, i should add one more line to over this plot as well okay so just right here plt dot plot plot okay and then i will find the cause of this x as well okay so np dot cause just pass here x okay and let's change the style of this line as well and if i will use this style okay so uh, let's save it okay and now uh let's uh, maximize it let's read on it and see what we will get okay so here we have uh, select any graph okay line bar and everything else okay and it's running and yeah here we have our graph okay so as you can see now we have a different style okay with a different coloring okay so this is our sign graph okay while this is our uh, cause graph okay so i hope that you have understood and now uh, previously uh, let me show you one more thing here previously we were removing the hamburger of the streamlit application okay and uh, for example for now just remove this cord as well okay so uh, let's remove it let's save it again okay and now if i refresh it you will see here that we can close this sidebar as well so if i click on this close it will close the sidebar okay so if i again click on this arrow it will open our sidebar again okay so this is how this hamburger and everything else work and now let's add functionality to these two radio buttons as well okay so let's draw 
a graph for these two as well and in here i will write uh, a l f okay so else if my opt double equals to b a r bar okay then i will create a figure i will use this style okay so just copy these two lines copy them copy and uh, i think that uh, i should uh, give uh, some sort of a title to this graph as well okay so here let's write uh, st dot mark markdown okay and uh, i will use h1 markdown h1 and uh, i will use uh, i will center this thing okay so style is equals to this and then a txt text uh, dash uh, a l i g n text align then a c e n t r center okay this one oh, sorry i just remove this sign here this and uh, then this okay so i hope this will work fine and now inside this let's give a title and i will go with like line c h a r t line chart okay and now let's uh, copy these three lines okay so copy these three lines copy them copy and paste them here okay and sorry just make it here and uh, let's change this from line chart to uh, b a r bar chart okay and uh, let's write here plt dot b a r bar okay and now let's create values for this bar okay so i will say b a r bar underscore x is equals to maybe like uh, one two three four five okay and i will pass my these values as x axis and now for the y axis uh, i will multiply x with uh, 10 but uh, this list doesn't provide us such type of functionality that we can multiply a single value with the whole list so in order to enable such type of functionality we need to convert this list to np array okay so just write here np dot a double array -Y array okay and now we will have a good output okay let's save it and uh, i will use st dot write figure let's save it now before i actually refresh it let's create horizontal bar here as well okay so let's write here else okay and uh, paste these three lines sorry not this one okay so these three lines okay so just paste them copy and paste them here okay and now uh, let's indent it correctly and here i will say plt dot br bar h okay and then i need to pass my values okay so here our x value will be our y value okay and our y value will be our x value okay so first of all i will multiply my x uh, not x b a r bar underscore x okay multiply with 10 okay and for well, my x value i will use this bar underscore x value okay and here i made a mistake i just need to make this single x to bar underscore x okay and here b a r bar underscore x okay now i need to display a figure so just write here st dot w r i t right okay and uh, just write here f i g figure okay so let's save it and uh, now let's uh, rerun it and see what we will get so uh, let me sorry okay so you here you just need to write uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. unsafe is equals to t are you true okay let's save it and now let's rerun it okay so it's cool and here uh instead of using this bar i will say h dash bar okay so h dash bar uh let's again save it and let's rerun it and maximize it okay so it's running yeah here we have our line chart okay so if i select this bar chart yeah here we have our bar chart but yeah uh, i hope that now you will have an idea of how to clear this type of issue so just try it in front of markdowns uns unsafe underscore and whatever is equals to true okay so that line will actually solve the problem and now if i select this h bar you will see here our horizontal bar as well okay 
and yeah this is our horizontal bar okay so uh, you can close this menu okay and uh, you can click on this in order to see your sidebar okay so i hope that uh, you have understood how to create sidebar and how to embed charts okay and i will see you in the next tutorial till that point bye bye